Need sheet metal designs fast? Meet BricsCAD Sheet Metal. In about five minutes, we'll go from concept to ready to manufacture sheet metal. We'll use a simple rectangle to define the base of our sheet metal part. The innovative BricsCAD Quad Cursor brings the flange base command directly to our mouse pointer. And here's our base flange. Let's start fleshing out our part. Again, the quad cursor gives us instant access to the flange tool. We can drag out a flange interactively or constrain it with dynamic dimensions. Flanges and bends appear in the mechanical browser. Bend reliefs are created automatically for forming with the press brake V die. Let's create another flange. We'll drive length, angle and flange width directly with dynamic dimensions. By the way, Change flange width and BricsCAD will calculate the required bend reliefs. In the browser, we'll name this part. Let's look at different material thickness options. Let's create multiple flanges simultaneously. Select several edges and you can really accelerate your design process. Notice that corner reliefs at junctions are created automatically. This trick comes in handy. We can create symmetric flanges in seconds and modify each of them individually in BricsCAD sheet metal. OK, let's talk about the integration of BricsCAD Platinum's Direct Modeler with BricsCAD Sheet Metal. Simply align with and start working on any model face. Draw a line or drop a polygon. Change the shape of the profile dimensionally or, your call, change it interactively. You can change your designs deeply without fear thanks to BricsCAD's Direct Modeling. Let's create a final flange using dimensions. Move any flange to any new position and it moves as a smart region, keeping part thickness and bends intact. Split side faces of any junction feature easily to incorporate adjustability into your model, if required. And once more on the other side. This part mounts to a chassis, so we'll need to create mounting slots. We'll use a rectangle with corner fillets as a driving profile. Mirroring the profile around the middle of the part copies the slot profile to the other side of the part. And in a few seconds, BricsCAD's push-pull modeling feature makes short work of the slots. We'll move around the part and select the thickness edges for a chamfering operation. Select edges, set the direct modeling chamfer command and we've done a good job of removing sharp corners from the part. These two flanges should meet with another connection type. To realign the side faces of the junction, hover over one of the junction faces and use SM Junction Switch command. And again, the BricsCAD Quad Cursor puts the right commands at your mouse cursor. Here's one more feature that needs our attention. Let's take a moment to roll through the junction options at this corner and clean the part up for forming. A 
OK, it's time for some punching. Let's bring in the jack panel cutouts. They're in a 2D drawing. We'll simply insert, locate and create the cutouts in seconds. Five minutes ago, we only had an idea, and now our part is ready for manufacturing. We can save the unfolded line work to a file, or send it off to a computer-aided manufacturing system. BricsCAD Sheet Metal adds dimensions and bend annotations to the 2D drawing, and gives you full control over the display of those dimensions. BricsCAD Platinum with Sheet Metal. The future of mechanical design is here all inside of .dwg. Try BricsCAD today!